All right, welcome to week two. Um, I am recording this a week late. I apologize. Um, but if you still need to access this because you were gone week two, then welcome. Uh, this is a full week, full week, All Meet Monday, ABAB. On All Meet Monday, we are going to do a Kahoot review uh, to kind of just recap chapter one because we started The Great Gatsby last week. Then we are going to read part of chapter two and then watch the scenes in the movie. Um, so we did not read most of chapter two in the book and we just watched the scenes in the movie primarily because other than this chapter, everything in the book matches what you see in the movie and it's done really well. But chapter two is incredibly boring. And um, a lot of what they put in chapter two, they kind of just very much glide by in the movie. And so I figured for this chapter, we could go ahead and kind of skip reading most of it and just watch the scenes. So you have no reading slides for it, but this slide after watching the scenes in the movie, what mood is evoked by the Valley of Ashes? Please explain. How does the apartment scene portray the Roaring Twenties? Consider the setting, the music, Nick's involvement, and other choices. Um, that will, again, be for the scenes uh, that Chapter 2 portray in the movie. And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, we're looking at a warm-up slide starting Chapter 3 and then working on some of the Chapter 3 slides. Uh, so for the warm-up question, I want you to uh, tell me from your own perspective, can you know everything about someone, but at the same time, not really know them at all? And tell me what you think about that and why. So as we read um, chapter three, chapter three is the time where we meet Gatsby. Nick is invited to Gatsby's mansion for a big, massive party. And um, in the beginning of chapter three, Fitzgerald, who's our author, he uses very specific language to convey this carnival-like, reckless atmosphere at Gatsby's party. It's a wild party. There's hundreds of people there. So you're going to pick four examples. It could be a, one quote. It could be a couple sentences, like a small passage. You are going to consider the figurative language, the imagery, and the word choice and kind of explain how you see Fitzgerald using this very specific language to make this image of a party, a wild, crazy party, appear in your brain as you're reading it. Um, so you'll have four examples to do. You put the example here and then talk about like how you know that that is being used there. An example might be, oh, here in this sentence from page 10, uh, Gat Fitzgerald says that Gatsby is blah, blah, blah. He's using a metaphor and I know this because blah, blah, blah. Um, then we're going to continue on with reading chapter three. We're going to watch the scenes and then we'll finish the slides. Um, this slide, you are going to read this paragraph again. This is the paragraph after, right after Nick meets Gatsby officially. It's like his first impression and kind of what he thinks when he sees him. You're going to use the comment feature. Um, that's where you can highlight and hit the little plus sign and add comments to annotate. Um, so for example, if you have something you want to say about this line right here, you'd highlight it and put a comment and then tell me what your comment is. And then down below, you're going to tell me based off of what we have seen and read so far, what do we know about Gatsby? There's been lots of rumors spread about him. People have lots of opinions of who he is, what he's done, where he's been, and you're going to tell me what we know. And then I want you to tell me what you want to know based off of the things we've heard. Like, do you think he was a spy? Do you think he was cousins with the Kaiser? Um, do you have any other suspicions based off things we've seen? And you're going to tell me that down there. Then, uh, before we watch the chapter three scenes in the movie, you're going to tell me, why do you think Fitzgerald, F. Scott Fitzgerald, who's the writer of this book, why did he wait until halfway through chapter three to introduce us to Gatsby? Uh, this book is small. You've seen that from the physical copy in your hands. There's only nine chapters, and we don't even get to meet the, the character that the book is named after until almost chapter four. So I want you to tell me, why do you think he chose to do that? Because that was definitely an intentional choice. And then the scenes. Uh, how does the film portray Nick's belief in Gatsby? How skeptical is he? We see, again, all these rumors. People have all these different ideas of who he is. And Nick is kind of processing all this information and seeing things and hearing things. And what do you think his perception of Gatsby is? Do you, do you think he believes everything that he's hearing or is he skeptical? You can tell me that based off of the director's choices. Like how is the scene filmed, the driving, the facial expressions, the people... Nick's narration and his tone when he's talking. And that would be it for week two. If you have any questions, let me know.